All right, what's going on, guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one will be sort of a pickup or haul type of video. Going to be showing you guys a X Men. This is retro for '90s '90s fans. A X Men 1995 uh, Flare Ultra uh, X Men cards collection. So it's show and tell if you guys have missed the collection update video the other day. I did uh, an update for my Marvel Legends collection and pretty much for me my biggest uh, interest with regards to Marvel uh, is and probably always has been the X-Men. So uh, when I was younger, man, these X-Men cards, I remember getting just a couple packs of these, but I didn't always get that much money from my parents, so I wasn't able to actually get that many of them. But, uh, and I've never really, I've never really been one to collect cards. I mainly collect figures and, and posters and stuff like that. Uh, but I do, I do kind of like some of the cards, and I remember these ones in particular being uh, particularly awesome. So what I picked up was a, uh, it was basically a guy's collection, a 94, 95 uh, X-Men card set, and it comes with a sweet binder where you got Wolverine on the front here, and he's cutting up the year there, and then it kind of wraps around, so it's uh, X-Men, uh, you know, Flare Ultra, 1995, and then on the side there too. So it came with the uh, the binder, which was part of the reason why I bought it from the guy and got the collection because, um, you know, I just really, uh, just really like the way the binder fits and everything and looks for the cards. And it's pretty much, uh, I want to say, most of 94 and 95 X-Men cards. So these were like the sets where you would get the X-Men cards. And uh, this one here is like the nine cards that would create the collage when you put it together. So it's X-Men. So this one to start off with 1994. And you have kind of all the X-Men getting together here fighting in, what is it, outer space or on a, a ship or something. That's Professor X at the bottom, Wolverine in the middle. So that one's pretty cool. And this one does have, um, it's more than just the base sets. There are some special cards in this set that, uh, that he has. There's a spawn card in there, too. This one's cool. This is, a I think, a Fatal Attractions Wolverine Crippled. So this is the one here where Magneto, you can see him in the background there. He's looking all angry and stuff. He rips out Wolverine's adamantium skeleton. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's freaking sweet. I love that one, man. Because um, I just remember, I remember when I was a kid, when I was like, when I found out about that, like I think a kid at school told me that, that Magneto had ripped out Wolverine's adamantium and now he had bone claws. And I was like, oh, really? I got to see that. <laughs> There's Jubilee at the top. Uh, it makes you think X-Men animated series. Uh, Cyclops over here. These are some of the base cards. Rogue and uh, Beast, um, which is pretty cool. So this is the uh, 94 right here. Uh, we got Sabretooth at the top there. We got Gene, Archangel, and Psylocke. Um, Iceman, and he's like smiling in that one. So that one's fun. Bishop in the middle. Um, Storm at the top, uh, top right here, my right. Um, some other ones here, these are mainly like basic. Uh, set cards. So we won't go through absolutely all of them, but I do want to show you guys some of the cool ones. Uh, here we got like X X uh, is it X Force X Factor X Factor. So like Havoc, Polaris, Strong Guy. These cards here. These are cool. And I do know that they have. I think they have um, uh, uh, Walking Dead cards as well. But I never really, I never really got into collecting them. I think most of them are just pictures from the show. They're not actual artwork. Part of the reason why I like these so much is because they're the artwork, and uh, some of them, like this is the only place you can see this artwork. They're done. The artwork's done specifically for the cards for most of them, I think. Um, the Landra, or maybe all of them. Um, like they're specifically, the artists are, are commissioned to do them just for the cards, so you get unique artwork in that. These are all, you know, different characters I don't know of, but there's Apocalypse right there. That one's pretty cool. Um, Sinister, Magneto, freaking sweet. Omega Red, Colossus. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'll find some cool ones for you guys. Here's the villains section we're getting into now. Sentinels, Sentinels at the bottom of that one. And then this is Silver Samurai down here. And uh, yeah, damn, dude. Some more, some more X-Men here. And then we get into some of the uh, unique ones. So this is the original team set. And we have like original team Professor X, Original Team Gene, Original Team Beast, and, and Iceman Angel, Cyclops. Very cool. Love that. X-Men Blue Team, X-Men Gold Team. So these three sets that go together to create, like, you know, the three of them together. So that's pretty cool. Um, Fatal Attractions, that one there. And then some more X-Force and uh, 
Uh, X Factor, Wolverine versus Hulk. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. And these are like versus cards here, these ones. So there's Sabretooth versus Wolverine, Omega Red versus Wolverine. That one there, freaking sweet. A Thing versus Wolverine. Uh, let's see. And then I think that's coming to the close for the 94 cards. And again, I don't think I have absolutely all of them. Then we get into 95. These are two really good years for X-Men cards for some reason. I guess just maybe the artists that did them at this time were really good. Uh, so here we start with the 95 cards. So very cool there. Gene, Iceman, Cyclops, and kind of these chrome-esque type ones. Um, these ones are nice too. I think these are Hunters or something like that. So you have like Wolverine that, uh, let's see, yeah, Hunters and Stalkers. So you have Wolverine as one of them. Um, yeah, Hunters and Stalkers, Archangel, because he can do that too, Magneto, Sabretooth, Deadpool, there's one of Deadpool there. Uh, I'm not a huge Deadpool fan, he's become so popular lately, it's crazy. These are actually my favorite set of the whole thing, because these really reminded me of the uh, animated series, is these cards here. This is the, um, we got like Morph, and they're see-through cards, so the cards can kind of, you know, they kind of, um, and then the back here, they're kind of like, you get to see Wolverine's back, and then Morph. Uh, and I love this Morph one. Of all the cards, maybe this Morph one is my absolute favorite from, because I just remember from animated series Morph and Wolverine, and, uh, you know, that was just so sick. Night of the Sentinels and everything. Uh, Cyclops, one of that one. So I got the whole set of those. Uh, and then we get into the basics for these. Um, I like this Cyclops one here. That one's really cool, because he's kind of standing with his arms out, and then, you know, the uh, optic uh, blast is going up uh, uh, vertical. So that's cool. Got some villains here. Let's see which ones of these are really cool. Oh yeah, I always love this Omega Red one here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one. Where he just looks pissed and he's got kind of the coils there. Very cool. Um, with a, he's got, what they say, depth pheromones. So as you stand around him, I guess you just die over time. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Cool stuff. Uh, Sabertooth Sentinels. Very sweet, man. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's skip some of these. Some of them are cool, but, you know, like, there's some, like, a lot of the characters that even I don't know, you know, who a lot of them are. Um, and then some of the first, uh, like, the uh, original team. So when they first got started at the beginning. I like this uh, X-Men Gold Team Professor X for some reason. Uh, I just think the artwork on that one's really, really great. Uh, right there, that one. Really awesome, man. Um, some of them... Like, some of them, the artwork I find is, like, okay on, but some of them, they just killed it with some of the original artwork they did back then. I think there's a 2018 set as well, um, but uh, they're really expensive, like, crazy expensive. Here's one of Wolverine getting the adamantium pulled out, like I said. Uh, that's a 95 version, I guess, um, so that's cool. And then some verses with um, these. There's one, um, Archangel versus Apocalypse there. And then, let's see, some of the others... Yeah, really sweet. Um, Sinister versus Cyclops at uh, at the uh, right there. My right, anyway. Um, that's cool. And then some more versus ones. Wolverine versus Magneto. Love that one. Sabretooth versus Wolverine. And uh, Psylocke versus who's that? Um, Revanche. Huh, yeah. Some of them I don't even know. Now, these were always my favorite when I was a kid, but I never saw one in person. These, I just saw pictures of these, and uh, I just thought they were so cool. It's like uh, X-Men Spring Break. You guys ever seen these? These are fun. And you got Wolverine. He's making uh, sausages. So he's got his claws and, like, the sausages. <laughs> Storms, like, making it be a nice day outside, I would think. Um, and then you have the rest. Um, Jubilee's putting, like, uh, I think suntan lotion on Professor X's bald cue ball head. And then Iceman is making ice for the uh, for the drinks. Um, so that's kind of cool. So I don't know. For some reason, I always like those. And I think that's it for, for the, uh, the single cards. And then there's just a few of these in the back here that came with the Ultra Prince, which are kind of nice. So there's an Ultra Prince Wolverine. That's the one from the cover, too. Um, but it's just really sweet. It's like a full-page print. And then, like I said, the Cyclops one, which I really love, too. So that one's awesome also. And is that it? Oh, one more. And then Ultra Prince of Iceman, put nice in the drinks. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's all I got for now for this uh, collection, guys. For now, I'm kind of new to this. I'm not, like, I've been collecting figures for what, maybe, well, pretty much my whole life. But specifically for, like, the last 13 years. And uh, I never really got into buying cards. But I thought, why don't I try a set 
it was a good price, so I did it. And I don't regret it. It's fun, man. It's really cool. So um, I'm going to look to see if I can get the 91 set of X-Men. 90, is it 92, 93? One of them sucks. I think 93 sucks. So 91, 92, I think I'll try to get those ones. But uh, hope you liked it. Uh, hope you liked taking a look. Maybe for some of you it was a look down memory lane. Uh, some of the old cards back in the 90s. People, you know, a lot of us used to collect these. There's people who still do to this very day. Um... You know, uh, for some of the newer card releases and stuff, it's just nowadays they're really expensive. Like, they're crazy expensive. Like, you wouldn't believe me if I, I showed you some of the pack prices and stuff. You'd be like, whoa. Yeah, because it's, uh, you know, these didn't cost that much back in the day but to get a pack. But nowadays, it's like, wow. Like, the 2018 X-Men set, I was looking at the prices. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, really? Like... You know, each card is like over a dollar uh, per card. It's, it's like, what? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, if you like the video, please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and subscribe at the bottom left if you're new. That's it for this one. See you guys again soon for another video. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.